Hey everybody, welcome to the SoCal Dram Tram. Thank you, ma'am. This is your boy C. And I'm Matt. And today we got something from my bar, folks. The good old Uncle Ernest, my favorite uncle. Isn't it nearest? Or, or Uncle Nearest. So guys, today we have my favorite uncle. Uncle Nearest. <laughs> uncle Nearest, the greatest whiskey maker the world never knew. So guys, I, I'm gonna just start with saying he is the first African-American master distiller on record. Now I'm sure there were some prior, but as far as on record goes, uh, he's the first African-American master distiller. Now, it has actually won 75 awards since july 2017 that's what? a short term for how many awards it's won it's like it, 25 a year yeah yeah well it is actually the most award-winning whiskey of 2019 and 2020 uh and as you guys know uh one of my favorite um competition san francisco world and and spirits competition gave this a double gold actually uh in this year's uh competition and as you guys know, all, all Tennessee whiskey has to be charcoal uh, filtered. But what I think is the chemical X, uh, or one of the chemical X factors as to what sets this apart and why it's so good, is because unlike others, this here is actually filtered with uh, charcoal made from the local maple uh, trees that are grown around the area. And Uncle Nearest was apparently one of the first to do it. So that tradition has actually been held for over 200 years. So for over 200 years, they've been making their Tennessee whiskey with uh, sugar maple tree charcoal to be able to filter uh, the actual whiskey. Um, um, so that, to me right there, honestly, kind of says a lot about, about the whiskey itself. That, that there's a lot of awards. Uh, the first master distiller, the, the the godfather of Tennessee whiskey. So let's see well, what I'm this... Mega, my <laughs> can't refuse. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see what this has to offer. What awful you... <laughs> Marlon Brand out for you folks. <laughs> 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 so, so what are you expecting from this? Uh, so Tennessee whiskey. I'm expecting a little bit sweeter of a finish. Um, I mean, look. My my expectation for, or I should say, my bar uh, for Tennessee whiskey is Jack Daniel's single uh, barrel barrel proof, which we reviewed. Oh, it's right was, here. That was the first Jack Daniel's I liked, and I it's delicious. That. Like I like regular Jack Daniel's single barrel, but that barrel proof select is just that whoo, was good. So good. That was good. Just sweet popcorn, mm -hmm. deliciousness, and just punch you in the face with the proof. I mean, I think it's something like sixty six percent. Yeah. Um. So it's it's up there yeah. now. Looking at this, I know it's only fifty percent. I like the story that goes with it. I'm always, I'm always intrigued when it comes to whiskey stories because I'm always like, how much of this is true and how much of this is bullshit? <laughs> um, just because we, I, I think it even says it in the little clip that you watched while we were getting ready um, that you know there's not a lot of records, um, no. especially for African Americans. So. Yep. If that's all true, that's hey, that's, all, that's awesome, yeah. um, you know. And and they had Jeffrey Wright narrating the, the trailer, and so all I could think about was like the Morgan Freeman voice from uh, Shawshank Redemption, where he's like, "Andy Dufresne crawled through six miles of shit to get to his yeah. freedom." <laughs> no, really. To be honest, I, I'm glad you said that because he, uh, Uncle Nearest, actually he worked on the farm as a slave before he actually be yeah. took over as everything. Mm -hmm. So to be honest, this is one of those feel good stories, folks. One of those well, African American partner with the guy who owned the plantation or something yeah, like that. Yep, from what yep. I remember hearing again, uh, who knows what's no. true, who knows what's <laughs> not. But I think, I mean, if you're the guy who ended up opening the distillery, I think there's probably some truth to it. And <laughs> to be honest, that's one of those feel good stories, you know, like mm -hmm. a guy that came from a slave to the first on record known 
African American master distiller. That means that folks went to him to ask for his permission on certain stuff, to ask for his permission on how good it was to get his opinion right after uh, African Americans were slaves. They went to, to this guy and were like, oh, well, what do you think? That's how good his palate was, folks. That's how good it was to where they went to him and they they, they named him master uh, a after the slaves were freed. So that that to me sets set a good uh, a good point you know it's like that's awesome to go from working on the farm to actually being named as master to still that that's getting what you deserve at the end of the day that's that's working toward it and getting what you deserve so that, that's awesome i'm glad they gave it to him and from what i've remember i mean it was good stuff but i, I need to get back into it what you got i was gonna say you usually don't bring bottles that are this full to my bar so i'm <laughs> always shocked when this happens uh it either means one of two things it either means caesar didn't like it all that much or it <laughs> means caesar's rationing it out and uh really trying to save it so i'm hoping that this is more of the latter yeah um i mean when i first stick my nose in it it smells like Tennessee whiskey. And I know we haven't done a whole lot of them on this channel, and by a whole lot, I mean we've done one. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But it smells ethanol-y, um, which is something that I definitely associate with Tennessee whiskey. And maybe that's just because Jack Daniels is the thing that I had at the youngest of ages. <laughs> um, but like, there's some sweetness to it, too. And now that it's airing out a little bit, like, it's definitely got a sweeter element to it. I don't know if I would say that it's maple, um, but there's definitely a sweet factor to it, like wood sugary. It smells like bourbon with a little bit of something else, which is yeah. Tennessee whiskey, for lack of a better word. What are you getting? So, I mean, you really nailed it. That's really all I get. As far as the nose goes, it, 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 it is really pretty basic. But before I get into my flavor, uh, I'm going to get, I'm going to say that my coaster coin is my bourbon sane because i'm insane and i love bourbon and for my topper coin i'm gonna go with my whiskey wednesday yeah and thank you guys thank you whiskey wednesday for this coin i appreciate the care package i appreciate the cups i appreciate the stickers but most of all i appreciate the love thank you guys 100 percent. we got a uh, care package from whiskey wednesday again you can check those guys up if you guys ever noticed before whenever we shout out our coins i put links up here to their channels you guys <laughs> should definitely check them out chances are you have though um but man whiskey wednesdays you guys are just awesome appreciate, we appreciate that. you guys thank you us some stuff we got judged pretty harshly on the glasses we were using for irish whiskey and <laughs> course is corrected my man yep. uh so we definitely appreciate that this is just the first chance we've had to film since then um my coin today i'm actually going to be using the whiskey tribe my patron only coin i'm going to use in their uh whiskey tribe. glenn Ooh. karen magnificent bastard see you say wooha i'm more like the uh what's his name um Russell from Up when he's like, ka -ka, ka -ka, ah! <laughs> like mostly because that reminds me so much more of Rex, <laughs> but nonetheless. Okay, take a sip. Um, really hot on the palate at first, yeah. but the finish goes down pretty soft. Um, it's not... It's not what I would say is smooth. Like it's definitely got some complexity to it. It's got... I haven't quite di you know, dived into it yet, but that maple sugary note is definitely there on the palate for sure. Um, and I think I saw that on the back of the bottle that it's using uh, maple charcoal to filter it. Yeah. Um, which is interesting because we have another bottle and we haven't reviewed it yet, but it's also using uh, maple charcoal as a filtering process. I'm curious to see if that's what that will taste like. And well, this is what, 50%? Yeah, 100 proof. Um, it's got some nice heat to it for got sure. Got some legs too. I wouldn't say that I'm getting anything of a hug. Um, legs. So what did we say? We said Texas Tug. We said Scotland Snug. Yep. Kentucky Hug is already a thing. We're going to have to think of something for Tennessee, but uh, that's a long word, so we're going to have to work on <laughs> yeah. that one. Plus, I think we need to at least do three Tennessee whiskeys before we come up with a term. <laughs> um, but it's nice. Um, I, was, I wasn't expecting much. Like, I'll, I'll be 100% honest. Like, I wasn't expecting much coming into this just because, like, while I'd heard of Uncle Nearest, I never, I've never seen it on a shelf. Like, I've never walked into a Total Wine, never walked into High Time and yeah, actually seen it same. on the shelf. It's always been either allocated or online I had to order only. this. I had like to order it's, this. It's tougher to find, at yeah. least in our area. Um, so I didn't really have any expectation because I've never really sought it out. But it's nice on the palate. I really enjoy it. Um, I'm getting some, like, almost like, like boiled peanuts, though. Like, think like when you bought, like, a can of Planters unsalted peanuts. 
Like it doesn't really have that salty bite to it. It's just kind of straight peanuts. Yeah. No uh, seasoning whatsoever. Like it's not bland, but there is a nutty quality to it. So for me, I do get like some oats, uh, oaty nuts. Uh, I get li- oaty nuts. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a uh, maybe a little bit of sandalwood, but to be honest, that's the forefront. That's right away because you get a little bit of a burn, and then and then those those senses. But the finish is all sweet. The, the finish is yeah, the finish pure, is very pure, sweet. pure sweet. It's and, like sugarcane sweet. Yeah, and, and it and it's crazy because to be honest, I like the liquid in this alcohol. I feel is pretty high class. Like like the the, the whatever water resource they're using is actually really good because I think that that has to tie in with it. I get those uh those od nut sandalwood at the forefront with a little bit of a, a burn and then that finish is just sweet amazing easy to drink going down going down uh your esophagus and you're ready for another pour for it being 50 percent uh i mean to be honest it probably drinks like a 50 percent but the finish oh no the finish is probably more like a 40 percenter because it's just cooling down the runway like i say you know when you're landing the airplane it's just like here it is come in for the landing here it is you know, it, it, you know when you have like Starbucks, like anything, like the Starbucks kid coffee, like your frappuccino, the sugar stuff, stuff like it's this, a milkshake, right? or like you know <laughs> your your ice caramel latte, like any of those ones where it's like this is sugar forward. It's interesting because it reminds me a lot of the ending experience of those coffees because like you'll take that last sip and you get that bitter note of bitter coffee, which I like, but like a lot of people don't. That's why they got the kid coffee. <laughs> um, but then you just get that cavity inducing sweet. Yeah. It's very reminiscent in this glass where like, like you said, as soon as you take it down, you're like, Ooh, Bernie. And then it's just like, Oh, I just swallowed brown yep. sugar. Yep. Like it's yep. just, I straight up just took down sugar cane. Yep. Um, it reminds me a lot of, cause it's got a, almost a creamy feel too. Like mm-hmm. normally I get like a waxy texture, but it's got a creaminess to it. And it's reminding me, I remember, God, I was probably like in my teens, maybe like 14, 15. And my dad and I used to go to the Asian market uh, over in Little Saigon. And they had like these pure sugar cane drinks. Like they had literally a sugar cane stock in the drink that you would essentially drink from. Nice. Um, and they were just so good. It was almost like a very sugary coconut water. Yeah. Um, and it was so good. And it's very reminiscent of that for me. Because again, the palate is... Typical bourbon notes, for all intents and purposes, Tennessee whiskey is bourbon. I know some people get pissed off at that, but it really is. It's the same mash bill. just goes through an additional process of charcoal filtering. Um, very sweet corn. Uh, you get the brown sugar. I even get a little bit of sour cherry with it um, and definitely some vanilla. But that maple sugar, sugar cane it's finish is what's, what, it's what's standing out on this glass. And, for and, sure. and I think that's the Chemical X too. Them using their locally grown, locally processed sh- uh, sugar maple oak. Uh, cause I mean, it, and it definitely stands out in that finish it like hardcore. Um, the, that sweetness is, is, is good stuff hmm. though. Like to be honest, wh- when I cracked the neck pour at home, I was like, Oh man, I was like, well, what did I do here? But now that it's a little bit more aired out, Oh folks, it is good drinking. It is good drinking. And I like how it, it starts, it starts one way and then it finishes the other. It's like, Hey, here I am. I'm about to get you. And then the finish is like, ah, psych, this is actually pretty good. So I, I'm really excited. And now, now I can see why I won so many awards. So thank you to my favorite uncle. So <laughs> you said, I'm going to get you. And it just reminds me of the freaking terrifying chick in Evil Dead. Okay, so I added water and I'm not going to lie. I hated it. Um, that's why yeah, I added a little bit more whiskey. Um, it it flip flopped. It was cavity inducing sweet on the palate and just burny on the on the on the finish. I did not care for it. Uh, so I'm like, let's get this water out of here. Let's put some more whiskey in my whiskey. Um, again, that's for me. Um, Damn, actually, wow. So all know, of it's that's, good. That's what I was liking. <laughs> all of it is good up until you let air hit your mouth, like breathing after the after you drink. So. Uh, it in your mouth tastes good with water. It in your mouth tastes good. Drinking it tastes good. It, it's still sweet. But after you start breathing again, after you swallow, then it's just like, oh, whoa. Okay. Like the more I breathe, the more like the bad stuff comes out. But to me, to be honest, as far as the forefront goes, it, it's actually really good with water. But 
to tie into my 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 review i think you're right i think it does taste like like uh, a lot of hispanics back in the day i know my mom did it all the time she'd come home with a uh, um sugar actual sugar cane from the stores to where like you cut it and the then you, yeah you bite into it and just suck the juices in it and then it tastes really good like no, you sound like you're a mexican vampire or something. <laughs> no trust, I, for for those of you hispanic no, I, viewers i was I like can't. brown my association <laughs> i know I was, oh, yeah, you, so you try that right yes, I've okay had it. yeah you chop that and it's just like you chew, you chew on it and it's just like wow so yeah that's very 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 reminiscent of that um I, as far as my review goes I, i'm gonna hold give on this... hold on before you give your score price because you didn't say that i don't think uh i believe it's i believe i paid like 45 bucks for okay it. okay 45 bucks so uh for that price point too i think it, i'm gonna give it a four okay. it, it, it's it's a good so it's good when you could pull the flavors because up front it's like all right i'm rough and tough and at the end it's like psych it's kind of like a sour patch freaking whiskey because it's like uh, uh first the we sour. can do that i have sour patch <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like first i'm sour and mean and then i'm sweet and then i'm let you finish off like i ah, just joshing but yeah so I, i'm gonna give it a four because it it it, it it does really good in both realms. As far as the, the, the punchiness, although it's punchy, it's good. And then the finish is just like, wow. Like, how'd you get so sweet, baby girl? So it's just like, yeah, for me. So you gave it a four? Give it a four for this whore. Well, as the Whiskey Tribe boys would say, the best whiskey you like is the whiskey you like the way you like to drink it. Um, I prefer this one neat by far. Um, did not like what water did to this one personally. Um... I do like the flavors. 50, you said 50? 50 or 45. 45 bucks. 50% ABV, 100 proof. It's not bottled and bond, right? No. no. Um, so here's what I'm factoring into my score. It's a good glass of whiskey. Do not get me wrong. I prefer it neat for sure. Like I was saying, I like the flavors. I like the sugarcane sweetness on the finish, not on the palate. Because on the palate, it's like, oh, my teeth hurt. Um, like I said in the beginning, my benchmark is that Jack Daniels barrel proof. Um, and that one is 55. So if I'm factoring that to this and judging what's in the glass, I'm going to give it a three. Um, it'd be teetering between a two and a three, like a two and a half, but I don't think that it is a two, it's a rated two whiskey. I think it really is a solid three. Um, for me and my palate. Uh, again, it's no secret, I prefer scotches, um, but I think this has a lot of good traditional bourbon flavor that has that Tennessee, you know, uh, Lincoln County process finish. Um, I do really enjoy it neat, and I really do enjoy the finish neat, because again, it's not cavity inducing, but it definitely is sweet. It's almost like you just had like a bite of really sweet ice cream, mm. uh, and you're just like, oh man, that's staying with you again, fat kid. <laughs> um, so again, it's a three for me for sure. Um, but hey, do us a favor, hit us up in the comments. Have you had Uncle Nearest? Let us know your thoughts. It's a four from him, and it's a three from me, but what did you rate it? We want to know that for sure. Do us a favor, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We love interacting with you guys there don't forget if you're new here don't forget click that subscribe button it's right here and everybody ring that bell for notifications that way you know whenever we drop a new video you got anything else you want to add caesar now what about you brother stay safe drink well folks all aboard we'll catch you next time hey everybody hope you like that video don't forget to hit that bell for notifications and don't forget to subscribe <laughs>